Okay, guys, I got this, um, this beta, it's a 2021 390RRS, and I've been riding around for a little bit. What I'm trying to achieve is a, a tighter turn radius, but uh, so several things that uh, kind of need to get done uh, to achieve that, uh, namely... I think one of the most important uh, aspects is relocating the uh, voltage regulator from the the factory location that was uh, mounted here. Uh, because, as probably a lot of you understand, that um, that was one of the major limiting factors as far as uh, being able to turn at a tighter radius with the with the uh, steering stops uh, removed or, or driven in uh, a little further uh, this uh, fork tube would actually make contact with the voltage regulator or right where the uh, connector the electrical connector goes into the voltage regular regulator rather and so I think I found a decent place to uh, relocate that, but before we get to that, I think another aspect of uh, the limiting steering stops was uh, partially uh, due to this um, wiring harness that comes up through here. Uh, some other uh, people on uh, the Thumber Talk forums were uh, basically having some problems with this uh, kinking and it would actually uh, break some of the wires within the harness and that would cause uh, all sorts of problems so uh, reading over some of the forums uh, there were there was a, a good fix to this uh, aspect and uh, essentially uh, what the forum member had done was uh, removed uh, a bracket that was here on the frame uh, holding this uh, wire harness here and then that form member had stiffened up this section of the wire harness uh, using uh, electrical tape and it seems to give it enough slack and enough uh, stiffness that it wouldn't actually kink where it used to from the factory uh, one of the problems that was expressed with uh, doing this with the tape was that sometimes the tape would unravel. So I was trying to possibly mitigate that with uh, using a zip tie on either end of the uh, the wrap job that I did here. Uh, additionally, there's a another bracket up here behind the number plate that you can't really see from here, but uh, the number plate, as you guys know, is like really easy to remove. So if you can just pull that out a little bit, you can gain access to it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, this was the bracket that goes onto the frame. And this was the bracket that's located behind the uh, number plate. So I just removed both of those uh, to give it a good amount of slack. And then, like I said, stiffen that up. And as far as relocating the uh, voltage regulator, uh, I guess to, to preface, preface that, uh, you should know this is a California model. Uh, so it's got some, you know, emissions uh, components, uh, namely this uh, purge tank. Uh, I picked up the California model because that was the closest location uh, to me that a dealership actually had one in stock, but I don't, I live in Oregon, so I don't really need this uh, emission stuff. So I just removed the purge tank entirely. And um, part of that, there was a, a drop tube, a, a clear uh, drop tube that came off of this purge tank that I had removed. And one of these goes to uh, the vent the, the gas cap vent, <clears throat> excuse me, and the other one goes to uh, the uh, the side of the uh, engine casing near the uh, 
the in, the air intake and uh, that tube was actually installed on this uh, barbed connector <clears throat> and then threaded into the the, the casing uh, on the other side of this connector and uh, that location was right there and basically what I did was I had some extra bolts uh, laying around my garage here and I found one that had the same thread pitch and same diameter now uh, behind this factory one there was a uh, copper washer uh, I didn't have any on hand uh, and I know it's not really good practice to uh, reuse the, the copper washer so I'll be replacing that sometime soon but for now I just reused the, the copper washer there and torqued it down to uh, specifications so hopefully that'll be good there um, let me see here so with this purge tank there's these uh, these rubber straps on there that uh, go through uh, a couple of slots in a, in a bracket and I'll show you what I'm talking about there this uh, factory location of the purge tank was back here okay this this is the bracket that was uh, holding the purge tank on those rubber straps would come through these little slots on either side now originally this bracket was uh, oriented uh, opposite actually what I had done was I had removed this bracket and turned it around and then bolted it back on uh, the same uh, location but now uh, this bracket stem here is oriented this way rather than vertically and so what I was able to do was I removed the seat uh, the tank and the plastics and that gave me enough clearance to where I could access uh, some of the wires and connections that were associated with the uh, voltage regulator now uh, a little bit further down the wire harness uh, loomed in the same uh, wrap was uh, another uh, connection piece and I believe that connector uh, comes directly from uh, some of these stator wires down here and so what I had done was I removed those connectors and I ran them through the frame to the right side of the bike and from there basically what I had done was I redirected them to go towards uh, the back of the bike and in order to do that without putting excessive pressure on the rest of this uh, harness because it's all loomed uh, together I basically cut a little bit of the loom maybe about three quarters of an inch so that I could uh, stretch those two wires down and back that way uh, far enough so that it wouldn't put extra pressure on there and then I just retaped and zip tied uh, where I had cut the loom it didn't expose uh, any wires but I just felt you know a little over uh, cautious by uh, rewrapping it with some tape and so what I had done was I ran uh, this kind of yellow opaque uh, translucent connector that's that's the connector uh, that sat uh, pretty much on the frame I think uh, basically under under the tank and then the black uh, connector piece here is what actually runs down uh, these group of wires uh, to the stator so I just uh, disconnected the two ran the yellow one to the right side of the bike <clears throat> excuse me kept the black one on this side and then basically just rerouted this to <clears throat> above the air intake and I was able to reach those two wires and then with the regulator uh, connector wires I just ran them down uh, the right side of the um, the air intake here and I was able to make a connection with this uh, regulator now by relocating the voltage regulator uh, to this location it just so happened to be that the bolt holes on the actual regulator 
lined up perfectly with these uh, two slots on the purge tank bracket and in order to mount them securely I just basically had to take some uh, longer bolts that I had laying around some washers and uh, some associated nuts that are on the other side you can't see them right now um, and I was able to secure it quite well and after I did all those things I uh, took the multimeter out and I verified that uh, the bracket, the voltage regulator, it all, it, it's grounded. And I was also able to verify that the suspension through its uh, entire range up and down uh, does not come in contact with that regulator back here at all. It actually, throughout the whole range, remains uh, at minimum, I think the closest that I got was maybe a quarter inch away from actually making contact with it. Um, let's see. So I took the, uh, that down tube that was located on the, uh, purge tanks stuff. And I just temporarily, I'm, I'm using this as the, uh, gas cap, uh, vent tube. I just kind of routed it down through here. I'll, I'll get one of those, uh, shorty caps that have the little uh, vent valve on the top. Now by doing all this, I was able to achieve a uh, significant gain in turn radius. And basically when I first took out the uh, steer stops uh, from the factory, there's a nut that uh, is on the other, it's, a, it's like a locking nut. It goes on the inside here of this bolt. And uh, so basically I removed both of those and I was hoping that I could get away with just not having them on there at all. But what I had found was it was actually making contact with uh, the top of the radiator here. So I just removed the nut and then I drove the bolt back in uh, pretty much as, as far as necessary in order to avoid the uh, fork tubes actually making contact with uh, the top of the radiator here. And what I was able to achieve was basically, I don't know, that seems like maybe a millimeter and a half, maybe two millimeters from actually making contact with the uh, radiator. Now, I haven't tried this out yet, uh, but I'm pretty excited to do that. I'll, I'll do that a little bit later today. And as far as uh, meeting the requirements of the uh, voltage regulator, uh, one requirement is it needs to be grounded, and another requirement is it needs to be in a location with uh, decent airflow to uh, mitigate uh, overheating. And I'm hoping that that location is far enough away from you know the combustion chamber where all the heat usually comes from and I'm also hoping that uh, there's enough airflow back through there to um, meet its its requirements for uh, temperature control um, I might end up uh, moving that uh, voltage regulator actually to the other side of the the bracket to maybe have the fins on uh, towards the outside of the bike to possibly pick up a little better airflow. I'm not sure, it's kind of trial and error right now. I do have a um, one of those laser, uh, or it's, it's like a infrared thermometer. Um, so I'll be taking that out and uh, doing some, uh, some tests to see uh, what temperature that thing reaches after I get a little bit of a ride in today. Um, it is kind of a hot day today. I think it's, hot, I don't know, high 80s right now, um, low 90s at the most. And so uh, this should be a good, a good ambient temperature to uh, test out. I'm, uh, I don't ride uh, fast. I'm not a desert racer, more like, um, some light uh, trail riding or, and some light enduro. But uh, here in Oregon, uh, 
fire danger is pretty high right now so i'm gonna have to stick with uh just riding on some of the old uh logging roads or the old uh fire roads um limited to that for now it's just to be safe i mean i could probably go off trail but i, I don't want to i just want to make sure everything's uh, good to go uh so i'll be testing that out later today and uh yeah i'll, I'll update you guys uh with my findings uh, thanks